What's going on guys? Scrubble Mega here. Today I have Tanya's deck profile. Uh, if you recall she was the Amazonist uh, duelist from GX. Uh, decided to go a little bit differently with her deck and there's quite a few cards that don't exist unfortunately. So I proxied uh, said cards to the best I could uh, which we'll get to that eventually so first up is three Amazonist Tiger then we have three Amazonist Swordswoman then three Amazonist Paladin Amazonist Blow Piper. Two Amazonist Spellcaster. Uh, then one of the uh, proxied cards is Amazonist Charm, which uh, you select one defense position monster your opponent controls, uh, change it to attack position, and then that monster gains 200 attack. Uh, it's pretty much uh, stop defense on the a slight downside of giving them 200 attack. Uh, so, yeah. Then we have two copies of Amazonist Call. Uh, it's literally defusion, except you have to control an Amazonist monster. Then we have two copies of Amazon is trainer. Uh, it is a quick play spell card. When Amazon is tiger, cannot destroy an opponent's monster by battle. It gains 400 attack and can attack again. Then, if Amazon is tiger has higher attack than the defense, it will inflict piercing battle damage to uh, your opponent. Then her field spell, which is a lot worse than the actual Amazon's Phil spell that we've gotten in the uh, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card game. Uh, so, when this card is activated, both players gain 600 life points. Uh, each time a player declares an attack, they can pay 100 life points to inflict 100 life points at the end of the damage step. Exciting. Uh, and we have two copies of Amazon's Archers. Uh, two copies of Dramatic Rescue. Then two copies of Pride of Tribute. Uh, when an Amazonist monster you control is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can special on one Amazonist monster from your deck. Then we are on to the filler cards. As even with proxying the stuff, I probably could bump each one that I did proxy up to three. But even if I did that, I still don't think it would be 40 cards. Uh, so, just some other stuff that fits the Amazonist uh, playstyle. Uh, so, Amazonist Chain Master, two copies. Uh, two copies of Amazonist Fighter. Two copies of Amazonist Trainer, even though this one came out far after GX. Uh, if she was a modern day Yu-Gi-Oh duelist, I'm sure she would play it. Same thing with the uh, Amazon Scouts. I'm sure she would be playing it. Uh, we play two copies of Rhoda, and then two copies of Amazon's Willpower. And I mean, even if this deck actually does do good, even with cards being proxied and some cards being thrown in. I mean, Amazon is just deserves some kind of uh, light shine upon them, uh, even if it isn't a character tournament. Uh, but that takes care of uh, Tanya's deck profile. Uh, for the last one that we have until the tournament, it is Kagemaru, uh, the guy that originally used the Sacred Beast. And yes, his deck was kind of hard to put together. But, uh, I did it.
and going to be showing it off in the next video. So stay tuned.